I'm Peggy Baker, and I have been a professional dancer since 1973. I think I'm best known for my solo career. But it's because otherwise it looks like two, two of the same thing. Yeah. Over the last few years, I've gathered around me a group of extraordinary artists. My name is Sarah Neufeld, and I'm a violinist and a composer. My name is Jeremy Guerra and Jeremy and I play in Arcade Fire together. This is our first major collaboration together as co-composers working with dance. Our show is called Who We Are in the Dark. I would describe it as a very visceral multimedia collaboration between dance, music, lighting, and video. It's an exploration of darkness. It is at once very tender and touching and also ferocious and intense and, and yes, dark. Darkness is a crucial aspect of our lives. We emerge out of darkness, literally. The universe emerged out of darkness. We were paired up together for Fall for Dance North and it was a, a happy sort of I don't know, accident. And every interaction with her just took me to another level of excitement and inspiration. I wrote a prologue, and the first line was who we are in the dark. And that, I thought, that's a good question to ask yourself. I work from text a great deal. If you can picture this, um, a choreographer making up steps to music. Well, I make up steps to words. So for this project, I gathered together a lot of writing about darkness, and I used that, that language as a, as a premise for creating uh, an action world. Okay, we're looking for the lift with Sarah. That was good. It was really fun just pouring, pouring over all this material together and then, and then just kind of diving in. So she'd come into the studio for a week and just get like a big blast of, of uh, stimulation from the dancers. She'd sometimes be improvising. I will get so caught up in watching like a couple of dancers. No, but I, I play differently, so I'm, I'm like feeling this long gesture that say like somebody's doing this really kind of emotive reach and then it makes me do this really emotive reach. I love that. She plays from her body. She talks about her music emerging from her body. And she understood immediately what was going on with the dancers. They're part of your band, if you want to relate it to like rock music. Especially when they're making actual noises, it's actually, I know it is kind of interweaving with the sounds we're making. It becomes part of the music. It really charges the dancers in a very particular way. I. I'm very confident that this work is really going to touch people on a very human level, and I believe that they are going to be recognizing what a big role darkness plays in their own life. I hope people will res respond in a way that, you know, they, they feel something and go on their own little journey with it. I mean, that's what you are hoping for. Thank <laughs> you.